AAA expects this to be the busiest Labor Day weekend ever, both on the roads and at the airport. Yeah, so the holiday travel rush started yesterday and is likely to pick up today. News for Jackson reporter Aaron Farrar is joining us live this morning. Aaron, drivers may notice lower prices at the pump. Both nationally and right here in Florida, gas prices this Labor Day are expected to be the lowest they've been for this particular holiday in the last three years. According to AAA, the national average for a gallon of regular gas is 336 as of yesterday. Last year, that number was 381 at this point of the holiday weekend. Gas Buddy says the national average on Labor Day itself is projected to be at $3.27. AAA says there's been a 2% dip in cost to travel this year for Labor Day. For those planning for a road trip this holiday weekend, it's best to start your trip as early as you can today. The worst time to be out on the road today will be in the afternoon and into the early evening because you may risk encountering people who are trying to get home from work for those who have to work today. For travelers planning to drive tomorrow, the afternoon is your best time to drive. For Sunday and Labor Day itself, the best times to be out on the roads are in the mornings as well. TSA says it's expecting to be the peak travel day today at different airports with screening just shy of 3 million people across the country. TSA is expected to screen about 17 million people through Wednesday, which would be the end of the Labor Day holiday travel period. Of course, with Labor Day weekend comes the expectation of a lot of people spending it at the beaches. There are some things to keep in mind that are considered beach etiquette. Keep the beaches clean. Don't leave food or trash on the beach. Keep the beaches dark and avoid using flashlights or flash photography when it's dark outside so you won't disorient sea, uh, sea turtles nesting or trying to make it back to the ocean for them. Try to fill in any holes or ruts that are out on the sand and take everything with you when you leave the beach. That includes things like beach chairs, umbrellas, or any other gear you take with you. For those in St. Johns County, there will be free shuttles running tomorrow through Monday to the St. Johns County Ocean and Fishing Pier and Michaelers Landing Beach Front. For Michaelers Landing, shuttles will run between Cornerstone Park on A1A North and Michaelers Landing. For the pier, they will run between St. Augustine Beach City Hall on A1A South and the pier's parking lot. The shuttles will run from 10 o'clock in the morning until 4 o'clock in the afternoon. From Saturday through Monday, they will run every 20 minutes. And another thing to pay attention to, especially if you're planning to be at a beach this weekend, is pay attention to the flags that are flying because those will indicate the conditions of the water and for different safety things that you need to be prepared for and be aware of if you're trying to enjoy your day at the beach. We're live this morning. I'm Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, the local station. Another reminder this Labor Day weekend, don't drink and drive, right? So AAA is, re is reactivating its tow-to-go service to make sure that everyone gets home safely. The service will be available from tonight at 6 o'clock through Tuesday morning. A tow truck will carry you and your car up to 10 miles from your uh, location. The number is to call is right there on your screen. Remember, this should only, though, be used as a last resort. Have that conversation early before you go out.